Well, I am so excited to be here. I'm always excited when Donna Dostal shows up on my on my Zoom meeting or in the studio as we mm -hmm. were doing, you know, not too not about a year and a half ago. But mm -hmm. Donna, it's so exciting. It's so great to see you. Donna is the president and CEO of the Pottawatomi County Community Foundation. Donna, thanks for being here. Andy, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited, just as excited as you are to, to be here and so lovely to see you. You look yeah. amazing as usual. Yeah, and likewise. Thank and you. We're, we're here to talk about the Impact for Women Summit. This is the first, this is the inaugural event. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's with the Women's Fund of Southwest Iowa. Um, so I want to first just talk about, I'm just like looking at my notes and looking back up at you, but let's talk about the relationship and, and kind of what is that relationship, the, your, the Community Foundation and the Women's Fund of Southwest Iowa? Oh, yes. I'm excited to talk with you about it. So the, the Women's Fund of Southwest Iowa, we created that fund at the Community Foundation. It's called the Field of Interest Fund. And it's really for, you know, uh, we have a couple of them at the Community Foundation to help address um, issues from a broad base. And we really, um, shortly after I started at the Community Foundation, there was a lot of discussion at the board level and with our uh, phil philanthropic supporters mm -hmm. around what, we, what our role is in our Southwest Iowa community and in the region as a whole to help lift women out of poverty and make lives better, really to address the issues that are facing um, women in Southwest Iowa and their families. And we've, we really settled on four key areas that are just paramount right now and very pressing. And, and even um, and one is just really at a crisis stage. So there's four key areas that we fund with the Women's Fund of Southwest Iowa. It's um, ad, access to affordable quality child care, aging in place and in community, especially for in our rural communities, for moms in our rural communities, um, uh, education for women of all ages, you know, K through 12, really focusing on that STEM and STEAM, adding the arts. And then as women, you know, get older and, and we, you know, women that are, you know, out of high school and really figuring out how to help lift women out of poverty. And then finally, uh, women's safety and well-being, particularly focused on um, mitigating sexual, you know, sexual assault, domestic violence, human trafficking, and just women's overall well-being. So those are the four key areas that we focus on with the fund and with the conversation and that we're raising money to then turn around and grant out. Um, as a matter of fact, we just announced this last Sunday, just recently, this last Sunday, I know this is gonna be airing here pretty quickly, but we just announced uh, the first week of September, um, our, our, most late, our latest grant recipients, five nonprofits in Southwest Iowa, uh, totaling about $57,000. So, so for Southwest Iowa, these are significant grants. And the piece that we, that we play in this, that PCCF plays, is we are helping, once we grant to these organizations, we're helping them identify really what it is that they'd like to I declare as the impact that they'd like to create with these, with these resources, and then how they're going to tell their story. So we really do help them to do that, help them manage through the, pro the programs that they're bringing forward, the initiatives, and, and helping them tell their story more effectively as well with a, a measurement tool that we built with Category 1 Consulting in Omaha. And so we gift that, that measurement piece to the nonprofits that we grant to through the Women's Fund and help them tell their story. And so the relationship then with the Women's Fund to the Impact Summit, we felt that there was a, a natural um, inclination and in a natural direction for us then to help lead the conversations around what's happening and what sort of solutions need to be built in those four focus areas. So we said, well, let's let's have a, a public discussion about it and let's bring experts in and let's start the conversation. So on October 28th, 2021, and we actually had to, you know, we were going to do it in 2020. We had to push it back because of COVID, but we are doing a, a hybrid event. So we do have folks in in person that you can you can attend the event in person at Ameristar Casino on October 28th. It's a half day event, or you can attend virtually from anywhere in the world. And, and that is unlimited access. You're going to be able to ask questions, participate in the discussion and see all of the, um, the presenters real time, as well as get um, videos 
uh, as a follow-up so that you can go back and rewatch the presenters. Uh, so we have Debbie Durham. I'm, 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 sorry. Stop, I'm just going to stop. Yep. You just, I'm just going to have you take a breath because okay. I want to ask you a couple of questions sure. uh, as we get into the event, because it's so exciting. And like you said, this, you were, you were looking at having this in 2020. Yes. Um, um, COVID-19 kind of put the kibosh on that. And um, what is the, I mean, we'll get to the presenters because you oh my gosh the lineup here is it's just, amazing it mm -hmm. is amazing um so like you said it's um october 28th um people can join virtually but they can also join in person but there That's are right. there are limited seats um, yes you know turning out to be a very popular event it's a hot ticket yeah <laughs> yeah so i just want to make sure i'm looking at my notes um so let's talk a little bit about the event speakers because you've got a couple ladies that are going to be speaking and then let's talk a little bit more in detail about the keynote speaker because she is freaking amazing and <laughs> wow. So she, she is freaking amazing. Yes. So, so in each of those four focus areas for the women's fund, we tried to find folks that are leading the conversations in our region uh, to help move the needle forward. So starting out the day, we have Debbie Durham, who is the, um, she is the executive director of, of Iowa economic. She's the director of Iowa economic economic development uh, authority and she's going to be talking about education education for women and the role it plays in our workforce and how we you know how we de depend so much on women in the workforce and and from an education perspective what is necessary and then we have Dawn Oliver Wyant she is the president and CEO of the Iowa Women's Foundation out of Cedar Rapids and she's going to come in and talk about the crisis situation we have in our region regarding access to child care. So literally just out of control. Um, the, the demand for child care far exceeds the availability. There's a, you know, there's a, a wage disparity. So we're really trying to address those issues. And then we have an expert coming to speak about, we were hopefully, we were hoping to, um, get someone from home instead. So we're still working on the speaker there. We had a little bit of a, a scheduling issue, but we're working with Jenna Berg at home instead to, to, to schedule someone, get a, a really good dynamic speaker to talk about aging in place in our rural communities. And, and then finally, I mean, the, the cherry on the cake at, on the Sunday yeah. is Elizabeth Smart. Yeah. Elizabeth Smart, you know, um, national and international speaker, um, best-selling author and uh, she's going to talk about her experiences uh, and how she now advocates for women that are surviving, vi women surviving violence, surviving sex trafficking, and uh, just her very poignant and powerful story. So we could not be more excited about this inaugural event. I know. And it's from, it starts at eight o'clock. It goes till eight o'clock in the morning till one o'clock. That's um, right. Lunch so and breakfast and lunch provided. And Elizabeth will be the, the lunch. The lunch. That's right. Program. That's and, right. Um, who who attend, who should attend this event? So I think that anybody, any woman that is interested or any anyone in general that is interested in helping us lift up women in our communities. So when we are focusing as a as a community, as a nation on creating cult, a culture of incl inclusivity and and really um, addressing systemic inequities, we need to really have a conversation about women. Because women are at the heart of, of helping, not only they're, they're at the heart and soul of that diversity and inclusion conversation, but we also feel that um, the issues that face women, and if we are able to, to raise women up, we know through, through research that communities benefit. All boats are raised when women, the, the quality of life for women and their families increases. So that is why uh, anyone who feels that that is an important conversation to have, um, anyone that has aging parents, anyone that uh, you know feels that the the lack of affordable quality childcare is an issue that we need to address, they need to attend. Yeah, and also, I mean, like you said, women. I think just in general, who if they don't have those issues in their life, but want to support women and be able to be that advocate and also yes. um, be able to be out there for them. I mean, this is and and just to be educated on on you know, these different topics. It's so important. That's right. That's right. And, and so, and, and we even look at the folks that are the generous sponsors of this event, Tamara Bruno with Bruno Contracting. She is a, it's a woman owned business. She's a national contractor that, you know, works with the defense industry. She works 
um, and you know is making runways across the United States. This, you know, she's a woman that is just so passionate about making sure that women are lifted up to be successful because she knows that it, you know, we have it in our DNA. We we have it in our ability to when we are successful and we can and really be that success successful contributor to our society that that our communities our communities yeah. thrive and they do better. So, so we want to, you know, and it's a big, it's a big road to hoe, you know, it, it's a, it's a big conversation to have. Yeah. Um, but you know, we're, we're, we're the little drops in the bucket. They are creating kind of ripples and, and waves of impact. And so we're excited about that. Absolutely. And, the, and what I absolutely love and that you're doing with this event too, like, like we talked about earlier is, you can come live in person. I mean, there, yes. are, there is a, a limit to how many people can actually be there live, but the online piece, um, the virtual piece where people, you can be anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world and, and have this discussion and be able to be a part of this. And that's we, right. That's COVID-19 and all the chaos that it has caused and, and can, you know, continues to cause and the challenges I think that virtual piece is something that I'm so grateful for that people can, we don't have to be there in person. I will be there in person. You will be because you'll be up on stage being the moderator. <laughs> it's going to be exciting. You're going to be the MCs, the, the hostess with the mostest. Yeah. But, <laughs> and we are so grateful to you at, 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 and your team at Metro Magazine for being our media sponsor yeah. for this event. We could not be more thrilled. We're grateful to Tamara Bruno and Bruno Contracting, yeah. U.S. Bank, and Ameristar Casino. Has, they've been our partner with this throughout the entire 18 months that it was on again, off again, on again. And yeah. now they are, you know, they're, they're our partners with this. And, and so, yes, we will have, we do have a, a limited av availability right now because it's a hot ticket, but you know, you're going to have a wonderful experience in the virtual realm. And that is our friends at planet Leslie brand uh, and her team. Yeah. They are the ones that are facilitating that dynamic platform. So it is, it is going to be a good show. That's amazing. And I love Planet Inc. They're, They're are, fantastic. They are great. So, all right. So let's talk a little bit about um, where people can go to find out more information. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So you can go directly to our website, www.ourpccf.org. It is right on the front page. The Everything points to, and there's a big picture of Elizabeth Smart on there. And um, then also Metro Magazine. Show them. Show them the cover. So where did I do? Oh, yeah. So this this issue just came out and um, people are getting the mail right now. It's all about forward together. And I know we interviewed you, Donna, in our cover story. But the back page is um, this is the event that you don't want to miss. And again, in person so beautiful. or virtual. Um, yes. Yeah. But pick up a copy and also, you know, view it online at spiritofomaha.com. That's uh, right. But I, yeah, I'm so excited for this and I just, I, and I'm grateful to be able to be a part of it and to contribute to it both with Metro Magazine and Midlands Business Journal. And it's just, you know, this is important. This is really important for our community. Well, Andy, you have been along my side the whole time we've been talking about this fund and the fact that we are going to have this event, you've been supportive from the very beginning. So I'm eternally and truly heartfelt grateful to you. Likewise, my friend. Well, our time is up. And again, go to the website, which I know is at the bottom. It's rpccf.org. I'm looking at the website right now on my laptop. And yep, our, O-U-R, our, our pccf.org. Yep, pccf.org. So yes. buy your tickets and um, we will see you all at the event on October 28th. Donna, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much, Andy. You have a wonderful day. Yep, you too. We'll be right back.